Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, Igamango Asanda. I am an admitted attorney and I share content on legal issues. I also share lifestyle, faith, and everything in between. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, and share it with a friend. Let's get into it. I'm sweating so much. It's so hot. It's one o'clock, but it is so hot. And it's in it's autumn, like it's the 23rd of March, but it's so hot. Okay, so um reason why I'm doing this video is I wanted to share something that has been happening and I'm basically making an announcement that I'm bringing back uh, faith corner to this channel where I am sharing all things faith lifestyle in form of a conversation instead of sharing them in a vlog only so that's what I'm bringing back and yeah somebody is singing let me close this window <laughs> I hope this makes it better anyways so reason why I'm bringing back faith faith corner or uh, uh, yeah is I've had a conviction so if you are catholic you know that we are currently uh in length and i've been very intentional about this length this year um that i want to have an encounter with god i want to have uh a different shape of length because I've been going through Lent, doing Lent and just doing vibes and it's impossible guys to go into the presence of God and come back the same. It's currently the, the we are about to start the final week of Lent, the sixth week of Lent and uh, this Passion Week, uh, I'm on to be more intentional. There are so many breakthroughs that have happened in my life but one of the most important breakthrough that has happened is feeling the presence of God in my life. Like. I felt it so much and that's what I want to do. <laughs> I, I needed to share it. So that's what Lent has been doing for me. And yeah, uh, it's been a lesson on obedience. It's been a lesson of obedience. I feel like I've been in, wild in wilderness for quite some time because I've not been obedient to certain things. There are certain things and certain situations that God told me a long time ago to let go of or leave. Guys, it's hot. To let go of or leave, but because of lack of obedience, I've been around the same mountain for. Uh, I would say there was a, a, a relationship I was in for a period of four years, which I knew was taking so much time, so much uh, energy from me and moving me away from God because of the way that it was set up. And uh, I'm glad that this encounter has reminded me, Guti, actually, just go back to obedience, go back to the things that God has promised you, that, that God has said to you to do, and you'll see things shift, things being different. So that's what I've been doing. And yeah, <laughs> things do go wrong i'm not saying that if you are maybe fasting if you are fasting during length or giving up certain things because i've abstained from meat since the first week of Lent. i've not had any meat until now that's what i've been doing instead of doing an entire fast i do fast on certain days being wednesdays and fridays but i've just decided to abstain from any meat pro products okay i do eat eggs yeah, but any meat of any sort, I've not been eating since then. And that's what I've been doing. And in understanding obedience, there's certain things that go wrong so much that you like, maybe I should just go back to my old ways. Maybe I should just go back to maybe an old job, an old situation, but you like do not complain remember that god says don't complain god says that he's with you remember he's with you he's been with you and that's what i've been doing that's what i've been saying goody i'm just gonna remember 
God in, 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 in these times like this, I'm going to remember his promises. And that has actually helped me that I understand that things going certain ways are call for obedience. And how do I then pray and hear God's word? So in this uh, faith corner, I want to share, I will be sharing how I pray and hear God's word. God knows the desires of our hearts. He knows everything that we want. But when praying, maybe take time to read the Bible so that you hear from God. Maybe take time to just open yourself up and say, I just want to hear what do you want this me to go through this season? How do you want me to get through this? What do you want for me? And how can I align my desires to your will? If you don't do that, you are going to continually just pray and pray and most of the time you won't hear God's direction even when he's answered the prayers because you're not in a situation or in a space of hearing him so I'm going to be sharing how I do my prayers and yeah how I pray and meditate on the word of God because that's what the Bible says says meditate on the word day and night and that's what I do and your steps will be ordered. I'll share how my steps have been ordered as well. And then, uh, so how will then, will I be then sharing Faith Corner? Because I know a lot of people are subscribed to this channel for more of the legal videos. I'm going to be sharing one legal video a week. And then I'll be sharing one Faith Corner video a week. Uh, reason why I've not been posting is because I've just had the conviction to do this video. But this particular video that you are watching right now but i'm like but a lot of people watch fa uh, legal videos on my channel why am i if i do this uh they're not going to it doesn't matter i've had the conviction to do it in the same sense that i've had the conviction to share legal information for free online and i'm having the same conviction to now share as i've done in the past share my faith journey and i'm going to do that if one of the reasons i've just shared that one of the reasons why I've been apart and haven't been speaking about God a lot in the past few years and been shying away from it, it's because I've had, like, you know when you are doing something that you know you're not supposed to do, there's always this thing on your head which you are not worthy and what if people find out you do this? What if people find out that this is what you, you have been doing and you are busy speaking to them? And... During this time of length, this time, Romans 8 has been in my heart. And it says, let me just read to you this verse 38. It says that, I'm, and I'm convinced, Vince, that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, nor life. Neither angels, nor demon. Neither our fears for today, nor worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. And in Romans 8, it is an assurance that no matter how much you feel your sin is, no matter how much you feel that you've done wrong in the world, there's nothing that can separate us from God because God's love is just grace. And that's what has been in me when I'm like, okay, but I have a past. I have this like, trust me, all of this is by grace. And understanding that is something that, I like and what I will be sharing as well because he these things are just fruits of grace honestly so I, I want to reiterate that in the past few years they have said the devil has said to me that I cannot leave or speak on the word of God especially on my platforms I do especially on Instagram I like at this point I have 7,000 people that are following me but in the past years especially last year and that year when growing the, the 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 account i've posted a few things on faith but then been afraid and like ah uh, but I'm, I'm not worthy of sharing this but i'm reminded each day especially during this lent season that there is nothing like you can do think of the biggest sin you've ever committed that too cannot separate you from the love of God. That too cannot separate you from God's grace because grace is just grace. It requires nothing from you but God's love and grace. So yeah, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. And that's the shift that I'm announcing here that there's going to be an additional video in my channel. I have shared faith things before and I've shied away from sharing them. 
um a lot but now i am going to be sharing them and yeah uh with that said don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this uh channel and do share it with a friend and i will be back with a new legal video this week bye mm -hmm.